Um, how about applying photodynamic therapy? There's one study that treated 21 patients with cervical colonization. This is a very interesting study because some of the patients actually received the neoadjuvant chemotherapy, but instead of radical trachelectomy, they performed simply very generous colonization of the cervix. And for those who have very close margin or positive margins, they were subsequently treated with photodynamic therapy and in this population of patients, there were no recurrences after almost um, um, five years of follow-up, and there was a 76% um, pregnancy rate. So let's go back to talk about those five scenarios, and I'm going to go over them one by one. So the 40-year-old patient, Gravida 2 para 2, stage 1A1, negative LV LVSR, who had colonization with negative margins. Um, here are the um, um, parameters where we can say the, 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 the patient does not need any additional treatment because there is no LVSI, the disease is early, and we will consider the patient to be adequately treated. The second scenario is the 23-year-old squamous histology, stage 2A1. So this patient um, who received new adjuvant chemotherapy with um, TIP, TIP, followed by um, laparoscopic evaluation, laparoscopic lymph node dissection, and the um, radical vaginal trachelectomy. The um, patient who is 32 year old, gravida zero with stage 4A um, adenocarcinoma with vesicle vaginal fistula. In this scenario, there is really no role for fertility preservation. This patient needs um, um, to be treated adequately with. Um, convention with standard therapies. Patient with um, stage 1A2, small cell carcinoma of the cervix. Again, here it is controversial whether there's a role for fertility preservation. This is a very aggressive tumor. And in one of the series from the Quebec group, one of the few patients that had relapse actually had small cell neuroendocrine carcinoma of the cervix. So we argue that there is no role for fertility, fertility preservation um, at least at the present time in this population of patients. Um, the patient who is 36 year old, gravida 3 para 3, stage 1B1, um, squamous histology. Um, again, this patient could be, the, the size of the tumor is 3 centimeters. And if you recall, because 2 centimeter is associated with higher risk of recurrence, um, this kind of patient will require neoadjuvant chemotherapy laparoscopic dissection of the lymph nodes, followed by um, the radical um, trachelectomy. Um, I want to point out that the trachelectomy, um, of course, could be performed using the robotic technique, as previously um, um, indicated by, the last, um, by one of the previous speakers. So how do we um, continue to manage these patients once you've performed the procedure? Um, the first thing is that they require continuing surveillance regular history and physical examination, annual cervical cytology, and imaging and lab tests as indicated by the history and examination or abnormal cytology. For childbearing, um, once the patient has completed childbearing, is there a need to go back and complete a hysterectomy? That is controversial at this time, but there are um, limited data from the literature where um, the investigators have gone back and in 6 out of 125 patients reported by the Quebec group, no residual cancer was identified. So there is minimal data to suggest um, what to do. The patient, people who are non-candidate for surgery um, um, for regular pregnancy could be considered for IVF and um, it's important to educate um, patients while they are pregnant and to obtain um, for them to obtain multidisciplinary care, including maternal, fetal um, specialist participation. Here is the NCCN guideline, the latest version, addressing this subject, and I will refer you to the NCCN website, and it essentially summarizes what I just presented, whereby patients with stage 1A1 
no LVSI can be safely treated with corn biopsy, stage 1A1 with LVSI or 1A2 can be considered for um, lymph node biopsies and, and trachelectomy, 1B1 um, trachelectomy as well as lymph node um, sampling. So here's the final summary. Fertility sparing surgery um, should be discussed in these patients. Um, they, for patients with bulky disease, neoadjuvant um, chemotherapy is an option, and accept acceptable regimens exist. For the obstetric management, a multidisciplinary team is necessary, and routine post childbearing hysterectomy is not indicated um, at the present time. And with that, I think that ends my presentation. Thank you for your attention.